Welcome back to another scalping lesson soil here and today I want to teach you a very powerful scalping strategy on one minute time frame. The first thing that we must do is setting time frame. So here we set the chart time frame on one minute. This is the price chart of euro to US dollar but there is no limitation on this and you can use this scalping strategy on any other asset or market whether it's forex, crypto or stocks. In this scalping strategy we have two indicators. For adding them here we click on indicators and we simply search the name the first one that we want to add is flying dragon trend indicator this one which is written by someone named marco p010 this indicator is a combination of moving average lines which are uh, based on all moving average and simple moving average we keep the default settings and we don't change anything here in the settings and just make sure that the risk level is on medium the next indicator that we want to add is macd this one moving average convergence divergence and we must change its settings here for the fast length we set it at 34 and for the slow length we set it at 144 and here for time frame we set it at five minutes so it will give us the overall direction of the markets on higher time frame in this strategy we only need the macd histogram so here in the style tab we uncheck macd line and signal line and also here we change its appearance to area so it will better help us with identifying directions everything is already set on the chart and let's see how we trade based on this one minute scalping strategy with this setup we can actually trade trade in two ways. The first strategy is by the help of these small triangles that appear on the chart. Whenever the price closes uh, above this blue moving average line, it's a buying signal and a green triangle appears on the chart. And when it closes below the blue moving average line, it's a selling signal and a red triangle appears on the chart. But not all of these signals are good for trading and we need to filter the false signals. And for this purpose, we use this MACD, which actually gives us the overall direction on the higher time frame when uh, this macd histogram is red the overall direction of the market on higher time frame is down and when it's green the overall direction of the market on higher time frame is up so when the histogram is red we only take selling signals when the red triangles appear on the chart and when the histogram is green we only take buying signals when green triangles appear on the chart but as you probably noticed this is a high frequency strategy strategy so we can encounter many false signals especially in the pullbacks or end of trends and flat markets for example here you can see that whenever we have a deep pullback we end up with loss here we got a buying signal and then this deep pullback hitting our stop loss this one is good this one is also good and again here our stop loss would be hit by this deep pullback moving forward this is good this is good and also this one is also good but here these two signals since the trend is ending and the market is going flat would end up with loss trading based on these signals are very risky unless you are an experienced price action analyst so you can realize when the market is going flat or when a pullback is forming or when the pullback is ending so you can filter the false signals a better and less risky strategy based on this setup is entering in the direction of the market when a pullback ends for for this purpose, this uh, ribbon which changes color between red and green helps us to know when we can enter a trade. When the MACD histogram is red, we look for selling opportunities. In other words, opportunities for opening short positions. In this situation, when the MACD histogram is red, when this ribbon becomes green, it shows that a pullback is forming on the chart and we must be ready for opening a short position. When the ribbon is completely folded to red color, in other words, all the green parts are covered by the red color, which it happened here when the candle is closed, we open a short position. The stop plus for this trade is placed above the prior swing high and the profit at 1.5 risk to reward ratio. By the help of this method you can see that we have higher probability trades. Before this here we have also a successful signal here, another successful signal here and another one here. Then we got a very deep pullback and then another successful signal here. A 
another pullback after that here and another successful opportunity for opening a short position here at this point from here where the downtrend is weakening and this uptrend is starting we don't have any false signals as you can see and at this point where it folds to red color macd histogram is already green when MACD histogram is green, we look for buying opportunities. In this situation where the MACD histogram is green, when the ribbon is red, it shows that a pullback is forming in the market. And when it completely folds to green color, we can enter a long position. Here you can see that at this point where this candle is closed, the ribbon is completely green covering the red part. So we can enter a long position here with the stop loss placed below the swing low another pullback here and then a successful signal we got here and another one also here because this is a trend following strategy it doesn't work well in the times that the market is not trending so when the market is not trending you must stop trading for example from here that you can see that the uptrend started weakening and the market is going flat this strategy generated a false signal one here and another false signal also here so as I said, when the market is not trending, you must stop trading by the help of this strategy because this is a trend following strategy and it doesn't work well in the times that the market is not trending. For discovering non-trending markets, you can, for example, use price action analysis to realize if the market is trending or not. Here, when this false signal was generated or this one, it was clear that the market is flat. So we could easily avoid these false signals. There are also some indicators like ADX that can help you to identify trending or non-trending markets. Another important point that you must pay attention here is risk management. Just like any other trading strategy, this strategy doesn't generate 100% guaranteed signals and losing trades are part of the game, so you need to manage your risk properly. There is a risk management strategy that is called 1% rule and it's a perfect strategy for scalping. I have a complete guide on this, the link is also placed in the description of this video and I highly recommend you to watch it because without a proper risk management strategy you cannot successfully and profitably execute the scalping strategy that i explained in this video not only for this strategy but for any other trading strategy that you want to use it's really important to manage your risk properly all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.